Backside of the notes, we're on number five. Eukaryotic cells are too large to function normally. Wait, where are we? Five. Okay. Yep. 5A. Okay. Eukaryotic cells are too large to function normally. They have special, what kind of membranes? Double membrane. They have special double membrane bound organelles. That's right. As a result, the cells can become very specialized, specialized which means not only can they have a wide variety of organelles, but each cell type can have different types of organelles. It's important because, you know, your eyes have a very different function from your liver because your eye cells are very different from your liver cells. You guys see how this works? So in order to be this large, we need to have different systems that can work together. The cells need to be very, very different in order for that to work. Allow for organisms to be made out of how many cells? Two. Oh, organisms. To be made of what? That's our, that's our next blank. Last four, what's our word for living things? Organisms. To be made of blank cells. Not just different cells, but how many? A lot. Yeah, lots, which, would, which we usually say yeah, multiple. So we have multicellular organism. Now, the eukaryotic things can be unicellular, but it also gives the ability to be multicellular. Los, Los apuntes de air? Donde? Donde means where. Hmm? Listen, you, I mean, you, you guys understand like these are conduct points, right? Yeah. Okay. Mine's somewhere in my book bag. Yeah, well, okay. but dig them out. The book bag's right there. Mine's right here. Speaking of which. Luke, let me see those notes. Gold star. <laughs> the four kids somehow can't find their notes. Luke had them out before any of you. Hey, I didn't say no problem. Hey, mine were crushed in the bottom of my book bag. I knew where they were. That's good work, Luke. I appreciate you. That's bonus points, by the way, for the gold star. Fair enough. All right. Let's talk about prokaryotic cells. Okay, let's hurry. They only have a single membrane, so they lack the blank. They lack the what? Um, Look up at 5B. Yeah, so what is lacking in the prokaryotic cells? Double membrane what? Yes, yeah, so double membrane bound organelles. You got to write that whole thing. Because that's what they're lacking. They have some double membranes, but they don't have double membrane bound organelles. I don't know how to spell all that now. It's up here. I know, I do. But... Yeah, right, right here. Double membrane bound organelles. Oh. They have some organelles, but they're, they're tiny. Now, because they don't have the double membranes, they contain blanker organelles. Your choices are more, less, or the same amount. Less. Yes, less. They contain less of those organelles. And because they don't have the variety of organelles like these ones do, they need to be much blanker to function. Your choices are bigger, smaller, or they could be the same size. Yeah, they have to be smaller. It's not just that they are smaller. If they were literally any bigger than they already are, they would not be able to function. They would die. Our cells only work because we've got all these crazy organelles, like the 20-some in the Quizlet that you've been struggling to get done, all 25 of them. I thought there was 24. I haven't completely Good. learned them. Well, I have it's, a, it's a race then. Do you get them all learned before I grade it? You'll get the point. If not... Checked missing, and you have to, you have to wait. Oh, it's a race. I'm gonna, I'm gonna win. 
They're smaller. There's they're smaller. They have few organelles, and they can only be blank unicellular. Yeah. What's our word for only single celled? You wrote what? Unicellular. That's right. They can only be unicellular organisms. They cannot be multicellular. There are no multicellular prokaryotes. That would require too many fancy organelles for the cells to be able to interact with each other in a meaningful way. They can't work together. They're too simplistic. They're too small. What they can do is grow into a giant pile. You ever let food go too long in the fridge? See the little white dots on it? Not mold, not the fuzzy, the little white tiny dots. Those would be a big pile of bacteria. You saw how small the one bacteria cells are yesterday. We can't see those. So imagine how many of those it would take to make a big old pile. Anybody ever had strep throat? Before my mom would let me go to the doctor, she'd always look in the back of my throat. What was she looking for? But they're so small. How can you see them? Yeah, if you see little white dots in the back of your throat, those are colonies of millions to billions of tiny bacteria. Also, the reason why it hurts, in case this wasn't gross enough for you, is because they are eating your tonsils. That's why it hurt. Yeah. I don't know. I thought from something about that it was because your body was trying to fight them off. So your body has to kill off some of your cells. That's why it hurts. Oh, that's that's a fever. So, so fever is not something that like an infection causes. Your body causes the fever to try to kill it, but it also kills your cells. There are some commonalities, however, between these two types of cells. All cell types, both of these, all cells are filled with blank. What's the name of the goo, the gel that's inside every cell? You learned this in middle school. In sixth grade, you did what? The graham cracker cell? You probably covered it in frosting. The frosting would be the? I remember that. No, that's skin. Cytoplasm. Well, write it down. We're going to remember it this year. Oh, no, we will, because we'll just keep going at it until you remember it. What's that? You don't think we have enough time? That's all right. I'll hijack your lunches and your hives. We'll get it. All cells are filled with cytoplasm. It's just the goo of the cell. In fact, the word cyto, guess what it means? Nope. Go ahead, circle the word cyto. What, you just wrote it. You just wrote cytoplasm? Tell me what cyto means. Well, what are we talking about today? Bacteria, which is a type of a, guess what cyto means? Yeah, cyto literally means cell. All cells are filled with the cell plasm. Circle where, circle with cyto, label it as cells. Cyto means cell. Every time you write the word cyto, remember, it means cell. They don't really sound similar, but cyto means so. They also have blanks to make their proteins. And if you really did the Quizlet, you'd know this. Starts with the letter R. Well, try your best, and I'll tell you if you're right or not. It makes a long, long I, long I. Yeah, ribosomes, long I, ribosomes, long I, the I, ribosomes. Mm hmm Since we're a little nervous about pronunciation, we shall practice. No. Escutcheon and repetin. Ribosome. Ribosome. Now everybody's got to say it, or you all stand up and say it individually. Ribosome. Ribosome. Nice. One more time. Ribosome. Ribosome. Wonderful. Now, cytoplasm. I'm serious about the everybody thing. Cytoplasm. Cytoplasm. Yeah, that's the goo that fills every cell. Ribosomes in the hallway. A lot of you guys pick protein for your organic molecule. 
Ribosome is the little factory that makes all the proteins that the cell needs. You eat different proteins, so you have building materials, those amino acids, the monomer we talked about. The ribosome's job is to read the instructions and put together those amino acids to make the protein. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? I'd love to, but first I need to know that you see what I'm saying. Everybody does, okay? Do they? Yes. What are I saying? <laughs> That's a good question for you. Ah, okay, here we go. The ribosomes are the little factories that make the proteins. Okay. What am I saying? They're making a little factory thing. Yeah, what is the factory thing he called? Ribosomes. What do they make? proteins there we go. Next which do everything that needs done both of them can have cell walls plant cell nice cell wall bacteria on almost the outside cell wall nice rigid supporty structure that that is the next blank notice it doesn't say all cells because this cell does not have the cell wall see no cell wall nope. right which I know you're like, oh, it's disappointing, but that's our cells, no cell wall. In fact, scientists are pretty sure that's the reason why animals are able to move because we don't have these rigid cell walls like locking it in place. You see what I'm saying? Without the cell wall, we got moving powers. That's right, that's right, moving powers. Well, it's, it already is recording and I'm going to post it at the end of the period. So your move, your move, Zoe. All cells contain blank to store their blanks. This is also one of the organic molecules. It's three letters. And in, it, while ATP is correct, it's not the one I'm looking for. What? Oh, no, not ADP. Those are the only two I know. Bet. You know more. You just can't think of it right now. The second two letters are the type of organic molecule it is. All right, name of the organic molecules. Ready, set, I'll start. Protein. Nucleic acid, interesting. What else? Carbohydrate, cool. And what? Starches are carbohydrate. What's the fourth one? What's the fourth one? No, DNA is a nucleic acid. What's the fourth one? No, we said proteins. Okay. Lipids. And what's the three letter word I'm looking for, Sydney? Um, Wait, what is it? Um, no, the other one. Yeah. DNA. Well, Luke, you tell me you've never heard of DNA? Nope. Nope. <laughs> yeah, I believe that never. Next, you'll tell me you've never heard of Luke. Store their <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> DNA to store the. Energy. No, that's ATPs can store energy. What can be stored in DNA? What was the first thing you said? No, just say, say it again, not cells. What did you say before that? <laughs> it kind of sounded like you said blueprint. Oh, well, I'm going to pretend you said blueprint because that's actually pretty close. For, for construction workers, what are the blueprints? Yeah, so they are a set of blanks to help you build stuff set of instructions because it's not just the measurements it also shows how things fit together okay, so what's that one? instructions uh. all cells contain dna to store their instructions now it doesn't have to be dna rna can also store instructions but in every living thing on the planet it's dna sam you write instructions yet good man i like it 7e both cell types have these crazy large exterior organelles Used for movement. All look at 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 what's our word for the inside of things? The inside of things. We have one word for that. Interior. All cell types can have these little doodles on the outside. That would be the Exterior, that's the next blank. 
Both cell types can have exterior organelles. For what? For movement. That all cell types can have exterior organelles, which could be used for movement. Like this big old whippy tail doodad. Guess what he uses that for? For swimmy swims. They can also have, they can also have little teensy tiny hair-like doodles. Like when they tend to have the little hair like doodles, they tend to have them all over the cell, like these ones are called cilia, means hairs. Both of those are made out of a material called the cytoskeleton. And those are the words you're going to write next. The big tail is called the flagella. Well, one's called a flagellum. This is 7EI. Flagella slash cilia, the little newt, 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 newt hairs, which are made from. Cytoskeleton, very good. This would be an X. All right, here, I'll read it. Listen. I, flagella slash cilia, made of cytoskeleton. Because it's not the other way around. You mean like you wrote cilia slash flagella? No, I thought. No, cytoskeleton's last. Because you wouldn't say cytoskeleton made of flagella. That'd be like saying wood made out of ships. The ship is made of wood. The flagella is made of cytoskeleton. P.S. What the devil is cytoskeleton? Bones are made out of cells. What's cyto mean? Oh, so. Yeah, it's the cell. It's the cell skeleton. Little teeny tiny structural proteins give support and structure for cells. They imaginatively call those the cytoskeleton. Like little, little tiny skeleton for cells. So we just call stuff like what it is. Cilia literally is Greek for hair. It looks like little hairs. They call it hairs. The word flagellum. Flagellate means to whip. It looks like a whip. They called it the whip. It's that easy. It's that easy. Just call it what it is. Let's talk about types of eukaryotic cells. Because you notice over here, I showed you two different types of eukaryotic cells. There's two types of eukaryotic cells. The first one is on the screen right now. What kind of cell is this big green monster right here? Plant cell. Very good. Nine. Plant cell. Plant cells have a blank for structure. What do the plant cells have around the outside to give them structure? They have a cell wall for structure. However, do me a favor because I messed up on these notes. In front of structure, you guys know like, like what, you know what I mean if I say do a little carrot thing? Yeah. Like a little triangle like burp. Mm -hmm. To insert the word extra structure. Cell walls for extra structure because they already have cytoskeleton for structure. They got the cell wall for extra structure. Yeah, extra structure. They also tend to have a larger this doodle for storing stuff. But first, what kind of stuff would a plant be making to store? Um, glucose. glucose, good. And which organelle makes that glucose? Organelle that we don't have. Chloroplast, that's the next blank. Chloroplast. 9A, plant cells have a cell wall for extra structure. 9B, plant cells have chloroplast to make food. 9C, they usually have a larger blank to store that food. This big old honking thing right here, we thought it was like a big like empty space when we first discovered it. 
So they called it a vacuole because it's vacuous. It looked like big empty space. And then we realized they're using it to store stuff. And so the name didn't quite make sense. But when we first discovered it, it was a big vacuous empty space that we thought. So we called it the vacuole. It means the big empty. Like, like legit, they look like, look at that, it's a big empty space. I'll call it the big empty. I'm so clever. Science, science, science. What's the other type of cell? Plants and animals. That's right, that's number 10. Animal cell. Blank, have a blank for structure. So what goes in the first blank? It says blank have a cell wall for structure. You'd say animal cells have a cell wall for structure. No. So what goes in the first blank? Don't or do not. 10A, animal cells do not have a cell wall for extra structure. Carrot extra. 10B. Animal cells blank, have a blank to make food. Do we have a thing to make food? Do we have a thing to make food? So first we'd say, do not, first blank, do not have a blank to make food. What's the thing that makes the food? Chloroplast, very nice. No chloroplast, do not have chloroplast to make food. You can't make your own food. I'm not saying like, I hired you Easy Mac, I'll make myself a sandwich later. We'll see who can and can't make food. Talking on a cellular level, people, we cannot make food. And usually have smaller vacuoles for storage. Because we're not making a whole bunch of food, we don't need this big old honking vacuole to store the food that we're not making. So when, when animal cells have vacuoles, they tend to be smaller. Like that could be a vacuole size type thing. It says lysosome, but it could also be a vacuole. Woo. What questions do you guys have about cells? For real? Yeah. Wait, what was the last one? Cool. It's your paper now. Load the organelles Quizlet. Load it anyway. Unless you have all 25 organelles memorized. That's, that's all right, loaded. Riddle me this, bet youth. How many squares are on a bingo board? 25, and how many organelles do you need to know? 25, yes. You're gonna write the names of all 25 organelles on the bingo board. I highly recommend you do not go in order. Please pull up the quiz, listen, don't click through all 25 of the flashcards. After you load the Quizlet, you just scroll down and you can see all the words. So if you click the learn, you have to hit the go back to set button in the top left. Here, I'll walk you through it. Yep. yep. And in baby bingo, there's a free space. In cell organelle bingo, ain't no free space. I bet you do. You come down here, organelles of cells for the Quizlet Learn. You click on the link. And it's like, oh, my dad, I already did the learn. I told you. You hit this back to set. See that? Takes you back to the set. And then you scroll down. There they all are. Not the definitions. Just write the names of the organelles, all 25 of them. We can't have a free space because there's only 25 spaces, and there's 25 things you need to know.